Lisa, and welcome to my Small Thoughts channel. Why small thoughts? Well, small thoughts can help lead to big thoughts or help us cope with the big thoughts that might come along, as they often do, don't they? So welcome, 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 puzzle buddies, new puzzle buddies, old puzzle buddies, and soon to be puzzle buddies to my Small Thoughts channel. A small my little small thoughts room puzzle room a corner in my house I like to come and have small thoughts so this is video number four of my Christmas holiday puzzle collection series I had initially decided to do three but realized I had kind of an abundance of Christmas puzzles so very happy to do this one and I like to call it Hodge Podge Lodge so first off let me share some uh, more little puzzle business with you, with you. I wanted to talk about my puzzle gift away. I have a puzzle, I guess I, I don't want to say a contest, but a giveaway that I'm doing to say thank you to my puzzle buddies for so many um, moments and small moments of, of joy you've brought me and lots of small thoughts you give me. I wanted to say thank you and how I'm doing that is I'm having a little puzzle gift away and you can find out all about it on the little video I'm going to try and put up here or down below. Uh, basically all you need to do to enter is be a subscriber and use the the secret code word in the comment section of the contest video or whatever you want to call it, the giveaway video. And uh, the secret password is Puzzle Buddy. So if you want to put in your comment section the kind of puzzle you would like to win uh, or uh, puzzles you like, sizes you like, please do. And if you've missed the contest, don't be too so sad because hopefully we'll have another one and I'll put a link up of course there. I'll try if this one goes well. Um, and very, very want to, much want to wish best luck and best luck, best wishes to Puzzle Buddies that you win. And uh, looking forward to seeing how that works out. And the next thing I wanted to do was talk about the tree lighting coming at the end. Um, my friend Copernicus has been working on getting the tree ready. He was up very late last night. I don't think working on the puzzle so he's not here yet but we will absolutely 100% <laughs> have our tree lit by the end of our last little Christmas collection video. And before we start I'm just going to grab a cup of tea from my Christmas mug and I think I need a new mug. Mm. Oh, that's good. I'm drinking a new kind of tea, new kind of chai tea that I'm trying. It was um, at the at the imported food section. Great price. And this is a cardamom tea from Tea Masala. It's delicious. Hang on. Mm. Cardamom chai. And indeed it is. So delicious tea. Thank you um, for the suggestion. And I hope you can go grab a warm drink, a hot drink, a cold drink something to sit and keep you cozy while you watch the video with me. And more housekeeping, more small pots housekeeping as I wanted to say thank you again to my dad for the beautiful Christmas music. He's did a little updated version of First Noel and also Silent Night but you hear playing. He was a professional jazz musician for 40 years and in his retirement has been composing some interesting jazz harmonic kind of things with this music. So thank you for indulging me by uh, listening to the music and sharing my dad's what I think wonderful music and thanks dad for letting me play these on my videos which I know you don't watch but that's okay. Okay and then the last thing was oh I'm excited about this. I don't know if you will be. I think I'll tell you about it at the end because maybe I'll change my mind between now and then. Maybe I'll wait to tell you about it. But I'm kind of excited about something that may or may not be happening Christmas Eve with the Small Thoughts channel. So off we go. Here we are. I feel, I feel like I'm kind of exhausted just from the opening. Here we are ready to do our puzzles collection and I will go over all my puzzles with you that I have left the Christmas ones and fingers crossed again this is the last puzzle collection and this for sure will be the last one of this series promise but I may have another couple of Christmas videos coming up before the end so first off I'm going to start with Cobble Hill <laughs> 500 piece puzzle Cobble Hill again a Canadian ish because I think they also do some stuff in the States 
really exploding onto the scene. I'm seeing them more and more everywhere. And so many of you have been telling me you've just discovered Cobble Hill. Thank you. I think they're wonderful. A lot of my UK puzzle buddies are not seeing it. I'm sorry. I wish you could find them somewhere. I don't even know if you can get them online through Amazon. And really hope if you win the puzzle prize, I'll be assured to include lots of, of, uh, of Cobble Hill. So this is from... Giordana Studios is they've got a few like this and this is the 500 piece random cut and I wonder if you can guess what this is called you won't be able to this is called kittens by the stove and indeed it is this is very cute this was given to me by one of my favorite puzzle buddies thank you who knows I love fur and eyes but this one isn't too bad this is super adorable wonderful fireplace or this is sorry wood stove wood burning stove gorgeous with a colorful stocking hanging here a little cast iron kitty stocking holder next to the jacket a wreath and of course a Christmas tree with all kinds of colorful ornaments and ribbons plaid blanket right by like a rocking chair with this cute little kitty friend some Birchwood cut up, ready to go on the fire, and some holly berry. Over here, we've got some mittens and some pine cones hanging, and of course, a pair of cozy slippers warming by the fire, waiting for a friend along to come along, I think, and spend time with his little kitten friends. Very cute puzzle, 500 piece from Cobble Hill. And you're going to see a theme here. That was at Christmas. That was Kittens by the Stove. This is <laughs> a little derivative Christmas puppies. This is just Christmas puppies, not Christmas puppies by the stove. <laughs> and indeed these are. There are a lot of puppies here. Also another puzzle given to me by my puzzle buddy with a sense of humor. Who knows I love fur and beady eyes looking out at me. So there's lots of lies to see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least a dozen pair of eyes looking out at you while you do this Christmas puzzle. So cute. Though if you like that kind of thing, there are, the, the puppies are cute. There's a little, uh, let's see, let's, let me test my puppy knowledge here. Pomeranian, Yorkie, I wanna say boxer, <laughs> I don't know. This is like, a, oh, this teddy, this has got to be a teddy bear. A golden Retriever, maybe King Cavalier, Cocker Spaniel. No clue, maybe a poodle, I'll guess. Labrador, that could be a boxer, bulldog. Really cute little kittens, but also some adorable Christmas scenes in the background with the wooden stove and also a stocking. But this time, the wood, the iron stocking holder is a little dog. A wreath Christmas card there from... Maybe as kitten friends, some candle holders, a little chest, and then, oh, I didn't even see the little terrier here, Highland Terrier, I think. And then beautiful, oh, a little nutcracker there, the Christmas tree with all kinds of fun ornaments to, to do to keep it going. Beautiful colors, and then a wooden sleigh and wrapping paper, a really colorful scene if you like lots of Christmas puppies. So thank you, Cobble Hill, and thank you, Puzzle Buddy, for that lovely gift. Next, we have the companion to that one, which is <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that was Christmas puppies. We've got kittens by the stove, Christmas puppies, and now look, can we guess what this is called based on what we've already seen? I apologize for that glare. I'm trying not to do get that, but this is called Christmas Kittens. And indeed, it is so many playful kittens, so many different colors of fur, so many cute little eyes looking out at you, gazing, staring, seeing into your soul. So cute little Christmas kittens with wood stove stocking with a gold stitched cat on it of course very cute another stocking in the christmas tree with this was the same tree i think 
with a beautiful little Santa here. Nutcracker, I think it's Nutcracker stockings, some bows, the plaid bows, the little plaid bow and the little kitten's hair here. So cute matching. And then over here too. <laughs> they are cute. This looks like a little Siamese kitten here. The tabby. And this looks like a little friend I know and love. Here you go. Christmas kittens. A really cute one from G. I guess Giordano Studios must be like a graphics section of Cobble Hill. I don't think it's an artist. This is a thousand piece puzzle. The size I think is 19 by 26 when it's done. Yeah, a little bit bigger, 19 by 26. Puzzle quality is great. The random cut, of course, the poster. That's a cute puzzle if you like cats. <laughs> <Your puzzles. laughs> and then we're going to come to a break with Cobble Hill. And I think I hear some movement upstairs, so maybe Copernicus is awake from his late night. The next puzzle we have is another one from Gallus, and I did one in the other puzzle video with Santas and Sleigh Bells, I think it was. It was called Starry Nights. This is called Winter Nights from Gallus. And oh, upside down, I think. There you go. And that's a really pretty Christmas town scene. And what makes this so special? I think, and so pretty, is look at all the foil. The foil puzzles I love. They're a little bit more expensive, I think, obviously, to, to produce, and they're heavier probably for some shipping. More expensive, but look how gorgeous they are. They're so stunning. So Gallison um, is a popular brand. I'm pretty sure it's similar to Mud Puppy, and I almost want to say Gibson's is doing a lot like this. It does come with a reference poster. <laughs> And call it that. That's your reference poster. Very tiny. And then the puzzle pieces are the traditional ribbon, straight across, straight down ribbon cut. Not a lot of variety. Um, I would say this is a medium difficulty, easy to medium difficulty. Easy because it's the 500 size. It is a really cute little puzzle to give as a gift because it's such the pretty box. Like the box is great. You barely have to, to wrap it. You just put a bowl on it and it's really pretty to sit on a coffee table or things like that for non-puzzlers alike. But a puzzler would appreciate that as well. I really liked it. I love the foil. foil. I, I find them hard to find, but whenever I see a foil puzzle, I snap it up. So I love, love, love. And I'm going to see the, I don't think there was an artist with that. Now what I think about it. No, there wasn't. Oh, sorry, Joy Laforum. Pardon me, Joy Laforum. Let's jo Joy Laforum did that. And I believe she also must have done the Starry Nights one. I'll double check that. Really cute puzzle. And speaking of foil puzzle, I have another one. Not Cobble Hill. <laughs> Not Gallison. I did do one recently from this brand. Also foil. And this is Ebu. This is called Christmas Ornaments. And this is a collection of the European style Christmas ornaments. And what makes this so special and nice, and I'm trying to watch the glare, is this is solid foil. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Huge bang for your buck in this, in this puzzle. So you see the reference puzzle reference poster you won't be able to see it so well on the camera but here's here's what the puzzle is a reference poster here a little bit better than gallison's so you can see all the really pretty ornaments that you can do the colors are very similar though really the color palettes mostly golds and deep burgundies and greens with tons and tons of silver foil very shiny and i would say this is an intermediate to difficult because of the size a thousand pieces and I think this is 20 but finish size was 21 by 28 so large puzzle very large hard on the eyes to be honest with you if you're going to do it make sure I find it here's a little tip if you can do it on an angle of ease around the eyes the shine is hard and lighting is of course is critical but so beautiful so stunning um, if if I was going to ever do glue a puzzle again like I did with my beautiful pond life I would do it with this one stunning if you can find that puzzle, I know it's hard to find from Ebu, grab it. That's Christmas ornaments. And speaking of difficult puzzles, I'm going to show you another super difficult puzzle. These two are probably the most difficult I have in my collection. That one and this one. This one was really hard. 
This is the artist Andrea Mistretta. Now, Andrea Mistretta is famous for a collection she does of Mardi Gras work, and I could not find her Instagram. If I can find it, I'll put it in. I'll put it in the links. I did try to feature her because she does beautiful artwork, and I don't know if this is a painting. It doesn't look like it. It can't be, but wait do you see it. Wait do you see this one. This is called, from Cobble Hill, an older one, 500 pieces, called Holiday Candy. Look at that. Wow. Look how bright <laughs> and woo, <laughs> like an Alfred Hitchcock opening. It's a lot of green, a lot of red, and a lot of white, and a lot of swirls. Super hard. Probably the hardest puzzle I have in the entire collection. Hardest puzzle I have in the puzzle vault for sure. With all the candy and there's because the lines are so similar like you can see here it looks exactly the same as this is really hard it was very hard to go by i do my puzzles kind of where my image and not by the shape of the puzzle piece everyone does something differently and that's probably why it was more of a challenge for me if you like difficult puzzles and you like challenging puzzles and you think doing a, a ravensburger crypt is is a fun weekend for you then please tackle this one gorgeous puzzle for someone who likes them challenging Thank you, Cobble Hill, for that challenge. Another Cobble Hill. <laughs> this one also from a family puzzle buddy. Um, and I wonder if this is, you know, this must have been done on a Friday at 4 o'clock. The name for this one, Friday at 4 o'clock at Cobble Hill. I laugh at it every time I see it. So I'm not going to tell you the name. Here you go. We've got the beautiful, sugary, frosted pine needles covered in snow and some beautiful pine cones here and beautiful majestic deer with a pair of cardinals my favorite and the creative name that cobble hill has come up with this puzzle is one deer two cardinals and indeed it is i think that just about says it all for this puzzle lots of fur big beady eyes staring out at you saving grace is of course the two cardinals another lovely gift from a special putty buddy puzzle buddy thank you very much appreciated and then next we're coming to got four puzzles left and I think we're going to be doing the puzzle waiting at the very end and give you my kind of announcement I hope you're as excited about it as I am and these four puzzles are part of a part of a set of five that I have by the artist Tom Newsom, who's an amazing artist who specializes in Santa's you recognize his artwork and a lot of stuff loves a lot of Hallmark greeting cards and some popular brands of things a real Norman Rockwell feel as well as being super talented very talented artist you can see the beautiful dimension he gets in Santa's beard and then the almost you get a picture within a picture I feel like the artist is showing off here his technique so you've got the train and skyline here and Santa is in the workshop working away painting his train set now I happen to think that this is his train set because if you look at the little scenes, I think this is Santa having a small thought with his train set. Painting the Burlington train set down here. This is a really cute puzzle because of the colors. The palette is a really beautiful cool tone with some of the, the warmer oranges and blues and reds and greens. I love, 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 love this palette and the Santa that's in it and I especially love the plate of sugar cookies and the cold glass of milk which reminds me I can hardly wait to be baking some Christmas cookies some sugar cookies this week I'm looking and still on the hunt for a great sugar cookie recipe I do have a good icing but I do need a recipe for sugar cookies if you have one please share in the comments section put that down lovely thousand piece puzzle from the artist tom newson and another one by tom newson part of my i guess quin quartet quintet of puzzles i did one last in my last session which my last session my last video which was um, santa's tree this one is santa's workbench also by tom newson 
who has been doing beautiful artwork for many, many years. He graduated, I guess, on uh, California's College of Art and Design, 1971, and has been doing beautiful artwork ever since. One of the companies he does artwork, if you might recognize some of the art, I actually did when I heard this, he does most of the artwork you see on the tea packaging for Celestial Seasonings. For the Christmas ones, so you go look into the at the packaging in your tea sections, you will see the beautiful artwork of Tom Newsom, and he also does lots and lots of Christmas cards for Hallmark. Super well known, and probably one of the more well known puzzle illustrators. More well known, not known, if you know what I mean. So there's Santa working in his shop. I'm trying to avoid that glare, making toys for all the kids. He's got some model airplanes, some puppets, some kind of sinister looking marionettes, and some all of his paints here, and his little friend watching on, keeping him company, and some models, wooden, uh, wooden models of animals, maybe a little Noah's Ark there, but he'll be painting, and a little wood stove in the back keeping him warm while he gets ready for the big day. Beautiful art by Tom Newsom. Thank you, Tom Newsom, who I could not find on Instagram. So if you have an account, let me know or someone knows. I would love to promote your work. It's gorgeous. There's another one in the same series. Santa painting cars. Santa in his workshop getting ready again, painting little model cars for his friends. A beautiful Christmas tree in the background, which I don't think you can see very well. As you, these aren't opened yet, so that's where you're getting so much glare. So this is there. Maybe one of these will go in the puzzle gift away package. So here's this and a little every so this looks like the little cards catalog system we'd have in libraries, but you must have those little nuts and bolts and things all in there and his reference references for who wants what don't you think and his little his apron and his paintbrush and having a jolly old time in the workshop another one by tom newson and ooh, it's getting it's getting up there i'm just going to get the last one and i'll make sure copernicus knows that we're going to be doing the tree lighting soon copernicus oh copernicus almost ready okay so the last one of the last puzzle of hodgepodge lodge christmas collection is another one i'm gonna get the right name i love the name of this one another tom newson called santa's little helpers look how cute this is i just love how the artist captures the the warm cheerful glow of santa you can just feel his ho 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 coming out <laughs> through the lens and he of course is decorating the tree like us getting ready to light it he's got a beautiful string of the old-fashioned lights not the led that we see which i know are, are great for the environment and back in the old days we'd have these christmas lights that just blazed and we used to go for drives in the car and point out the different Christmas lights in my neighborhood. That was always something fun we did as a family. And then he's got this little friend here. Get the little bell on the end of Santa's hat. An absolutely beautiful puzzle, which is really making me excited to light our tree. So Copernicus, are you about ready to light the tree? Just going to put this puzzle down and come on in. And when you come in, can you just check and make sure that the, the plug is the right one? Because last light, last time you had the yellow plug in, it didn't work out. The white plug. Oh, I don't know what the yellow plug's for. Okay, so very excited. Yeah, oh, Copernicus is making his way up. I hear him coming. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Hello, how are you? You as excited as I am? I'm super excited. What have you got there? 
Let me see. Oh, goodness. That must have dropped. I think I know what puzzle that belongs to. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find out. So Copernicus, very excited about the tree lighting. I think puzzle buddies are very, are very excited. The time has come for us to finally see the little porcelain tree lit up, which you've been working so hard on. So thank you very much for doing that. I really appreciate that. Um, so my little tree I've had in my family, I don't know how many years, decades, decades, decades. And I know many of you have a similar tree that I do because you've taken time to comment. It's not exactly the same as mine because mine was made by my grandma and yours is made hopefully by someone in your family that loves you very much. So I'm excited to see it. We haven't had it lit up. Lit up. My friend Copernicus here has been working very hard and diligently with the wiring, getting all the little bulbs put in. We've had difficulties. The, uh, the clicker to get it powered, which I have right here, um, went been going missing. It's been coming and going. And finally, we are ready to open, open the ceremony, the tree lighting ceremony. So away we go with no more delay. So fingers crossed. I have a good feeling about this one, Puzzle Buddies. Ready? Shall I hand you the clicker? There you go. And as we are all waiting patiently to go, ready? We'll move you out of the way so we can see. Do you mind just moving just a titch this way? There you go. Okay, ready? Should we do three, two, one, or one, two, three? Let's do three, two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. How about at, we say Merry Christmas when we turn it on, okay? All right. Three, two, one. Merry Christmas! Oh, it worked! Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty! Oh, Copernicus, it looks beautiful! I love it! Oh, how beautiful. Oh, I haven't seen it in so long. It's amazing. I love it. Thank you. Oh, it's so pretty. It really has made our little room look so festive and wonderful. It just is perfect. The only thing it's missing is one thing. I've just got to see if I can find it hiding here. I've got two little things for you. First of all, I wanted to say thank you for all your hard work. So I did find this and got you your own little stocking because you were looking at ours and feeling kind of left out. So we were at the market, the Christmas market the other day and found that cute little stocking for you that's been needle pointed with your own Santa. It's cute, eh? Do you like it? Oh, good. I'll just put that down and we can put that up later. And then the other thing that we're missing is what Copernicus, can you guess, is a Christmas present. I have a special Christmas present just for you, little buddy. Here you go. Thank you so much and Merry Christmas, Copernicus. And on that note, I would like to say Merry Christmas to you, Puzzle Buddies, and thank you for watching. I did want to say I have a special little idea that I wanted to share and that was I think I would like to do and what do you think about this a live Christmas stream on Christmas Eve what do you think I don't know if I can manage it technically but I would love to invite you puzzle buddy to spend time with me possibly Copernicus if he's not doing some stargazy things or at a slide rule club to join us Christmas Eve for some puzzle buddy time and some small thoughts and time to connect. So until next time, I'm Lisa and I'm wishing you lots and lots of small thoughts. <sighs> it really is pretty good.